Are you familiar on this symbol? If not, please watch this entire video. Some businesses do not just provide a single trade discount. For an instance, a manufacturer may give its distributor a discount of 20, 10, and 5. So this is an example of a discount series. This is Teacher Joanne of Mathu. So we will be having another topic in business mathematics and the focus here is on discount series. So for this lesson, the learning objectives are the following. You should be able to define discount series and illustrate how to compute discount series. To attain the learning objectives, our essential question is how to compute for a discount series and what is this for? Let us focus first on this real-life scenario. A wholesaler grants additional discount other than the discount he has given to his customer. Aside from the regular 10% discount, the wholesaler grants a special additional discount of 5% to the customer who made cash payment. In this example, the discount series is 10% and 5%. So what is a discount series? When we see discount series, it is a discount provided that has two or more discounts based on a combination of conditions. Commonly, a discount series is provided to a product based on the conditions that must be satisfied for the discount to be applied. So how to compute for the discount series? To solve for the net price, we need to multiply the list price by all the complement rates successively. So we have NP is equal to LP times CR sub 1, CR sub 2, CR sub 3, and so on. Let us now apply this to some examples. First problem, finding the total discount and net price. The list price of a winter coat is 3,500. A discount series of 20% 15% and 5% is being offered for any orders above 100,000. Find the total discount price and the net price of an order of 30 quotes. So looking at our problem, we have the different given values. The list price, which is 3,500, multiply it to the number of quotes, which is 30, and this gives us 105,000. We also have the discount series, 20%, 15%, and 5%. And let us find the complement rates by subtracting each rate from 100%. So we have the complement rates 80%, 85%, and 95%. Since we are talking about the net price, what we need here is NP is equal to the list price, which is 105000 times the complement rates, which are 0 0.80 times 0 0.85 times 0 0.95. And by multiplying all of this, we will have 67,830. So this is the value of the net price. The net price of the 30 codes is 67,830. As for the total discount, since the list price is 105,000, and you just have to pay 67,830, we need to subtract these two values to get the total discount. So we have the total discount of 37,170. Second example, finding the list price. A retail shop sold bags at a net price of 799.99. After putting discount series of 20% and 10%, find the list price. So here, as we can see in this problem, the net price is given and the discounts are also provided. So we have NP, which is 799.99, discount series 20%, 10%, and the complement rates are 80% and 90%. Following the same formula, we have NP is equal to LP times CR1, CR2. We have the NP, 
which is 799.99, LP is the unknown, and we have the complement rates 0.80 and 0.90. So we need to divide both sides by 0.80 times 0.90. So we have this. Dividing all of this, we have 1,111.10. What is the meaning of this value? The list price of one bag is 1,111.10. Third example, finding the trade discount rate. A pair of shoes with a tag price of 2,580 was bought at a net price of 2,010 with a first discount of 5.5%. What was the second discount rate? So here, we have the value of the list price, which is 2580 net price of 2010 and first discount of 5.5%. What we are looking for here is the second discount rate. So first, let us find the complement rate of the first discount rate. So since we have 5 and 1 half, this is 5.5. Subtract from 100%, we have 94.5% or 0.945. So following the same formula, we have the NP, which is 2010, is equal to LP, which is 2580, times the first discount complement rate, times the second discount rate. Multiplying these two, and then divide both sides by the value of this, we have 0.8244 as the complement rate of the second discount rate. In order for us to find the second discount rate, what we need is to subtract the CR sub 2 from 1. So we have 0.1756 or 17.56% as the second discount rate. After discussing or showing you how to solve for the discount series, Kindly try this item. You may pause the video so you can answer this one. Let's check our work. The net price is 936.21. Here are the key takeaways for this topic. When we say discount series, it is a discount provided that has two or more discounts based on a combination of conditions. And to solve for the net price, we just multiply the list price by all the complement rates successively. So here is the end of our lesson. I hope you have learned a lot. Thanks for watching and see you all on my next video.